Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about the release of EasyGrass Generator version 1.6 which is being ported to Blender 4.0 okay? In this version, there is not that much new things in terms of uh, the overall look uh, I, I've been working a bit on the mature of the grass and uh, some other uh, little things that makes the grass look more realistic but the main point of this uh, release is that uh, right now you have more consistent uh, texturing changing, okay, and uh, also it's a missing. It's a, it's something that was I was missing after I, I use this tool daily on my work and uh, a daily basis, and I will show you what is that, okay. So, this is our grass generator, right? Let's remove the optimize report. Okay, so you can see now our, our grass is here. Okay, let's play around with this world. Let's bring this world shader a bit. The elevation of it down. Okay. We have maybe too much, too much direct lighting. Maybe something like that. Something like that. Okay, that works. Okay, don't worry about this. This is just for us to check it out. Okay, that's our grass. Okay. What I was missing was a tool that could remove the grass, like by painting. Okay, this was being this was added uh, versions ago. I think version 1.2, and then I remove it to make it simple, because back in the days it was it was a bit tricky. Every time I was adding a new mesh to it, uh, it was bringing uh, all the items that I, I actually didn't know to the grass, and then I don't want. I didn't want to mess around with that, but now I figure out a better way of doing this. So now let's say this is the basic mesh you guys know you get with easy grass, okay? But let's say that you have your terrain or your grass or whatever you have in your scene that you need to become the grass, okay? Okay, let's say that you have this guy here and you want to turn this into a grass okay now you just select this guy this guy press ctrl G and it will join okay nothing new nothing crazy okay the difference is let's remove this the difference is now Sometimes you have a terrain or you have a situation in which you want to remove the grass, okay? And how you will do that? You will do that basically like cutting out your mesh and making that part of the mesh not being a grass, okay? But the transitions are not the, always the best, so I figure out this way. In here, you will have inside color attributes, you will have uh, Grass remove, sage and tall grass. Sage and tall grass is uh, it's a tool that I've been removed from easy grass a while ago and then now I'm bringing back in this way which is safer, okay? Compared to how it was before. So in order to remove the grass where the grass is, you just need to go to your vertex paint, okay? Make sure that you are on probably black and then you start oh no I'm sorry you have to go to your grass remove color attributes and then you go to your verte vertex paint and then you will start to remove your grass okay and more you have your mesh divided you have uh, let me show you more you have your mesh divided, okay? If it's more divided than this, you have more control over your vertex painting. Okay, let's 
maybe just subdivide this a bit two times more it's just for the sake of showing here okay all right so in this case if you go to your render you see that now after you remove your grass from the from some areas it kind of becomes the ground texture okay which is here the ground material okay and here is the grass material so that's what happens when you remove your grass okay so and then you can go painting like removing your grass controlling the strength here maybe you don't want to, rem to remove that much just a little bit okay and you can go and keep kind of creating something nice now you can do that okay and also another thing that you now can do is kind of adding sage and tall grass those items here sage and tall grass let me show you okay and the only the only thing you have really to do is kind of select sage here on your color attributes and then go to your vertex paint and then you start to paint the sage will start to show up as soon as you have uh, in as soon as you have it in black you see your sage is starting starting to show up it's it's too little sage yes it's too little sage let's increase the density and put maybe uh, 50 and then you see you have more sage and put a scale maybe one so now we, we have more sage here maybe we put this density crazy like I don't know 200 okay now we can see more okay and the same thing if you are in the sage to delete these guys is just to press X so you change to white and then you paint them out all right you keep painting the sage out and the sage is gone until the sage is gone okay if you want to remove quickly you put a strange higher and then you remove it okay and the same thing for the tall grass if you press the tall grass and press X and bring it to black okay and you can start to paint okay the tall grass all over the places okay and you have the same settings here tall grass density let's put 200 you see now you have the tall grass here you can make it even taller playing by the scale okay and voila the same thing if you want to remove it just press X move it to white and then remove it and if you want to bring your grass back from those areas which are empty you just go here into your grass remove make sure that you have all in white and then bring your grass back okay and then you have your grass all over here okay I will recommend you for the sake of uh, optimization of course because you have a scene and you have huge amount of grass in your scene like always use that on a viewport optimization and then you know where the in, in the case of the grass where it's black this means that there will no there will not be grass here so you can paint as much as you can okay and you can use whatever is motion here and there to make it the transitions better okay and then if you render this out let me see how it goes you see the grass is just on the areas that you would preserve it okay and the other areas are the grass starts to can get of uh, scaled down and kind of disappearing okay and the other texture is, is showing here those are the ground extras which if you don't want to see them you can always remove it from here grounds extra off and then you can render it again you see there's no ground extras you guys know how it works okay and yeah 
that's pretty much it I hope you guys like it now it's working on blender 4.0 let me know the feedback below and see you soon bye bye